Okay, this is a response to a question I saw posted on the Zara Facebook page about replacing people in photos. So I'm going to show you one quick method of doing this. To begin, you'll notice I've got my two photos here. On the right is a nice photo of my husband and myself, except that I really don't like my expression in the photo and I don't like the way the hairpiece is sitting on my head. So we're going to do something about that. Over here on the left, I've got a nice photo that shows a nicer expression and it looks a little bit better. I'm going to take and take myself from this photo and put me into this photo. So to begin, I'm going to crop out the head from this photo using the shape editor tool here. And just so you can see better, I'm going to make give my lines a red color. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm just doing this really quite quickly. You might obviously want to spend a bit more time doing this. Now basically, I'm well, I want mostly just the head and the hair. I'm not too con overly concerned about the rest of the photo. And I'm just kind of doing from there. Back up. And once you get to the end, you'll see this little plus sign. Just click. And now we've got a nice black shape masking out the head. With that shape still selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the underneath photo. And now I'm simply going to hit control 4, which slices it out. And now you'll see I've got my new face. However, we got to do a little bit of prep work to this underneath photo before I put this face in. As you can see, this photo here is taken in front of a cedar tree, whereas this one's taken in front of a pine tree. We're not going to see a whole lot of the cedar tree, but there is a bit of difference in coloration that's going to show up. And some of this is going to show behind once I feather this in. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is to get the clone tool which lives here within the photo tool. Now I know some of you are thinking she's going to use a magic eraser, but actually I find for this just the regular clone tool actually does a better job. So to start I'm just going to draw this masking shape on here So, I'm simply click and until I get a part of the pine tree that looks like it belongs. And now, this here is one of the reasons why I'm not using the magic eraser, so I can overlap the areas. I'm going to come down here. Going very close because I don't want to clip off my husband's ear. Now, as you can see, the feathering on this one is allowing some of the underneath photo to still show through. And we do want to hide that, so I'm going to reduce the feathering just enough. Maybe just enlarge this just a hair as best I can without clipping off too much, clipping off his ear. You really sometimes have to play with this a bit. All right. Now, yeah, that's still showing a bit too much, so I'll just control select that. I'm going to play with the feathering just a bit more. 
taking it down and sizing it up. That's looking better. All right, that should do a good job at hiding the parts of the photo that I think might cause problems. Now, I'm going to drag this new face in here. Resize it down just a bit. And put it in here. About where it should go. Now, the next thing we'll need to do is make some adjustments. This photo was also taken on a bit of a different angle and at a different time of day. So the shading in this photo is a li little bit different. So I'm going to double click it. Adjust the brightness and the contrast just a bit. That looks not too bad. Now we'll add some feathering. Kind of bring it into line. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to go in with the shape editor tool. Just make some final adjustments to my clipping here. This will help sort of blend the two photos together. At least I think so. That looks pretty good. We're almost done. Just going to zoom out here and have a good look. That looks pretty good. Now to just tidy the whole thing up, I will just marquee select and hit, con hit Q on the cube on the keyboard rather to clip the photo and give it a nice clip and there we are now there's my photo which just has a nicer face so that's one way of doing it this is how I'd go about doing it in Zara I hope this was helpful